Oh, we found the big hail. <laughs> oh my goodness. Holy cow. There it is. All right, go. Go. It's not even so Hey everybody, this is Max Olson with Adjuster TV here with a special weather update. We're gonna talk a little bit about some of the storm chasing I've been doing and then deployment opportunities in the Midwest. If you have um, a license in Minnesota, you can get work right now, but we'll get to that in a moment. First, let's talk about some of the storm chasing that I've been doing. So I've taken this spring off to chase storms essentially full time. The most recent tornado event that we had was back on May 4th. We caught an EF2 as it went into the town of Seminole, Oklahoma. We followed that storm to the Northeast where it produced a a few more tornadoes. Since then, there hasn't been uh, much in the way of quality tornadoes, but a lot of storms. We've had a lot of big wind and hail events, um, which have led to uh, some catastrophic deployment opportunities in the Midwest. On May 9th, 11th, and 12th, we had a slew of severe storms from the Dakotas into Minnesota. We're talking large hail up to the size of baseballs, some of which went through very populated areas. And then on the 12th, we had a derecho. There are absolutely property and and auto adjusters needed right now in the Midwest. If you have a Minnesota license, Matt's been telling you to get it for years. If you have one, you could probably get work like tomorrow if you made phone calls. There's definitely a need for adjusters up there. I've even been asked to uh, take time off from my time off to go help some people. So it's uh, it's definitely all hands on deck type situation up there. I wanted to quickly show you guys these really cool maps provided to us by a company called Hail Trace. They make these really detailed reports about hail, wind, tornado damage. And we're looking here at this overview map that they've created from May 8th to May 13th showing all the big hailstorms and windstorms. The hailstorms are going to be the ones uh, thinner paths, yellow, orange, red, the deeper colors indicating more intense hail, two plus inch diameter stones once you start getting towards those red. Um, and then the blue shows the swaths of the most intense winds. The more honed in you get, those, those deeper colors are gonna indicate where those most intense winds were and the strongest damages are. Looking at a few individual days here, you can see May 9th and May 11th, all these hailstorms going through uh, central Minnesota, causing damage to cities like Minneapolis and St. Cloud. Then we have this map for the derecho on May 12th, and you can see just how expansive of an area it was that was impacted. And as you get further and further towards the center, that's where those most intense winds were. Reports of 80, 90 plus mile per hour winds causing extensive damage throughout that area. And looking out into the future, it looks like we definitely still have more severe weather on the horizon. Um, it's gonna be more of the same days with uh, large hail, intense winds. We might have a few more uh, little MCSs, which is, uh, that's, that's basically uh, a light version of a derecho. They're gonna have strong winds, just not usually as strong over as broad of an area, but they can still be impactful. And then we'll also have days where there's isolated supercells producing large hail. Um, it looks like even Minnesota could be getting in on it again here tomorrow. I'm making this, let's see, uh, the 18th today. And uh, tomorrow the 19th looks like there could be even more hail up in Minnesota and that's the last thing they need. So we'll just kind of see where it goes. I'll be out chasing for the rest of the season. So if we catch anything good, you'll be sure to see it here on Adjuster TV. Thanks guys, stay safe out there. Adjuster TV. Bad decisions make good stories.